Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of GearTactics.com. I'm your host, Justin Lee, and we are taking a look at the iPhone SE. Yes, it's kind of like a mashup of an iPhone 5S and an iPhone 6S. The screen is the same size as a iPhone 5 or 5S. Some people just like that size. There's the back, yeah, 64 gig model. I'm covering up the IEMI here. Uh, this is the Space Gray 64 gigs, as I said, model A1723 for your reference. Oh, I'm gonna use uh, this very large Xacto here. Yeah, that's dangerous. Always cut away from your fingers, folks. Don't do like like how I'm doing it here. So, uh, people have actually taken apart this uh, iPhone SE. It's got um, parts from an iPhone 5S. It's got uh, camera, uh, the LTE antenna, uh, the uh, GPU and CPU are from the iPhone 6S, so it should be almost as fast. And there it is, folks. Alright, let's uh, get this out here. Come on. Uh... At the rate it's going, it's going to take half an hour. Okay, I'm just going to help it a bit. Hey, there it is. That looks just like an iPhone 5 or 5S. You can use the same cases. So if you own an iPhone 5 or 5S, it fits. Oh, very nice. Uh, this is, focus is not going to work, so I'll show you that in a second. Front side buttons, yeah. Yeah, vibration, volume up, volume down. Nice space gray in the back. The only way you can tell this is an iPhone SE is by this logo on the back, because it looks just like an iPhone 5S. SIM slot uses Nano. Buttons on the top instead of the side. Let me can see if I can get this to focus. Hey, there we go. And two speakers, uh, lightning, and the headphone jack. And of course, it does have Touch ID. So you use your fingerprint to unlock the phone. And the box is probably going to be no other surprises. It's probably going to be, yep, headphones, power, and a lightning cable. Let's see what's in here. I don't think I've ever actually looked in this. It's probably just a bunch of papers. Uh, of course, it's got the uh, SIM ejector. Yep, instructions. Since I'm in Canada, it's got French ones here, English. Mm-hmm. Nothing really exciting. Oh, it does say iPhone SE at the top. Oh, information about the iPhone. Uh-huh. French, English, where's the English one? Yeah, there's the English one. And there should be some stickers in here. Where are they? Hey! You stick these on your PC and pretend it's a Mac. Alright, let's put this away. Eh, no surprises in here. Lightning cable. Uh, focus. Fo okay, I'm just, I'll just put my hand here. Hey! Yep. Good old standard lightning cable. Power brick. Yep. Not a fake China power brick. Good old earbuds, the volume rockers, and mic. Oh, they'll probably be getting rid of these in the iPhone 7. So, I am going to set this up and be right back. Okay, so it's all set up. It's gonna peel off. Uh, the stickers here. Let's zoom out. Oh, I gotta love that sound. Okay, so I've got an iPhone 6S here. Just for comparison. Yeah, there you go. Time for some tests, folks. I've got this hooked up to a power bar. I'm just gonna flip it on. 
see which one boots faster. Gotta do some benchmarks after this. And the winner is... Huh, a success. Hmm, a few seconds. Not the end of the world. I've intentionally left the uh, SIM cards out uh, so it doesn't try doing stuff. Let's try and load a website. Let's see if it's the same speed. Let's refresh gear tactics here over Wi Fi. And yep, same. Okay, so surfing's uh, pretty much the same. Now for some benchmarks. I'm gonna use a uh, 3D Mark slingshot here. I'm gonna run some uh, 3D uh, rendering. And oh, and it's sideways. Okay, uh, hang on. <laughs> These lightning cables are in the way, and it's not centered. Okay, come on. No, let's poke it a bit here. Yeah, you try moving two phones with lightning cables attached to it. There, right, there we go. Alright, so it's uh, rendering this in real time using the uh, GPU and CPU. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's running pretty well. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to fast forward this. As you can see, it's flying now. So this is not, <laughs> it's not running in real time. It's just, I don't think you guys want to watch like two minutes of, you know, benchmarking. So uh, in a couple of seconds. It's gonna do like other uh, tests. So here, oh, there's some frame rate here. It's gonna show you. See, this is running about 15, 16, 14, yeah, hovering around there. All right, let's see how the SE is doing. Yep, yeah, pretty much the same. Yep. So far, uh, the iPhone SE, which is on top of the black one, is keeping up with the success below the white one. All right, see, so it's running another scene here. Like it's raining and snowing. Hey, there's the marks. Huh. The uh, SC actually did a smidge better, but that could be, you know, any any number of factors. The 6S is not a wiped phone. It's not empty. It has my stuff on it. <laughs> All right, let's try some other tests. All right, see, it's got the device model. Yeah, iPhone SE is obviously on the right still. Yeah, same number of cores. Uh, memory, uh -huh. storage, yes, it's same total size. All right, so uh, th this will be filled in uh, after I start the benchmarks, the CPU. Let's go! So again, I'm going to uh, speed this up because I don't think you're going to watch a couple of minutes of uh, of uh, benchmarking. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to zip through this real quick as it runs through the calculations and the frames per second. It's also going to write to the hard disk and stuff, uh, the SSD, I mean. Uh, so, all right, 30, 60 frames, yeah, same. 2D, practically the same. I want to see the disk. Oh, what's up with that? Okay, for some odd reason, the read on the 6S really slowed down. I'm not, okay, I may have to rerun this. So I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, the write speed is within each other. Uh, let's see the CPU here. Yeah, CPU is pretty identical. Yeah, because they said it's the same CPU. So I'm probably going to have to rerun this test. I'm going to actually switch off the Wi-Fi and any background apps. Okay, so I'm back. So I've turned off the Wi-Fi. I've turned off any background applications running. I'm just going to run this again. And I'm going to actually jump cut uh, to the... Uh, the results. There it is! Okay, see, that's better. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see here. Yeah, everything looks good here. Let's see the read. Yeah, the read. 1,393. And the read is 1,647. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. So, I guess it was just a blip on the first benchmark. So, we can say that the 6S yeah, they pretty much got 6S parts in the iPhone SE, so you are not really losing that much speed on the 6S, uh, the, sorry, the iPhone SE compared to the 6S. So, 
this SE is almost just as fast as a iPhone 6S. Now, obviously the SE form factor is smaller, right? The screen is smaller. That's the point of this thing, right? It's, it's for people who want uh, a smaller screen, not a giant phone. You know, that way you can reach all corners of the screen. See? Top, bottom, bottom left, right, left, top, you know. Can't really do that on a 6S. I know you can swipe and make the screen jump down on a larger iPhone, such as this. But if you want to just reach, it's harder to reach all corners. Obviously, uh, this iPhone success has 3D touch. It's pressure sensitive. See, it's almost like a right click. So it detects pressure, uh, different amounts of pressure on the screen. So and the power button's also on the side here, other than the uh, the top, like the old uh, iPhones. But uh, if you want a smaller screen and you don't care about 3D touch, this is actually a pretty good option. Yeah, I'm actually liking it. Here's some photos from the iPhone SE. Uh, not much is growing yet, it's just spring, so... Oh, pretty good! I've also taken a little close-up here of uh, some figurines. Quite good. Okay, so on the left is a night shot. It's 6.50 in the morning, on the left is the iPhone 6S, and on the right is the iPhone SE. Pretty close! So, overall, I like the iPhone SE. If you want a small screen, this is definitely a good buy for you guys. Hey, don't forget to like us at Facebook, Gear Tactics. We also have a Twitter account, also called Gear Tactics. And of course, we have a website. It's www.geartactics.com. Don't forget to like the video and of course subscribe. If you subscribe, you will be notified by email when we get a new video up. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.